Masego was a true testament to the power of the mind. With the motivation to impress women, he's learned more than 20 instruments without ever having any formal music training or knowing how to read music. Much like Stevie Wonder and Michael Jackson, Masego was a child prodigy. He showed promise at a young age and put in his 10,000 plus hours into mastering his craft. He even invented a genre, Trap House Jazz. Not only is he talented, but he's charismatic, highly likable, and comedic. Today, we learn who is Masego. Masego was born Micah Davis on June 8, 1993 in his father's native land, Kingston, Jamaica. He was born to Mark and Tracy Davis. His father, Mark, was in the Air Force before eventually becoming a military pastor. While stationed in Warner Robins, Georgia, he met Masego's mother, Tracy, an entrepreneur and pastor. Masego was one of three children. He has two sisters. Because Masego's dad was in the military, they moved from state to state. They lived in New York, South Carolina, and Utah before finally settling in Newport News, Virginia. With Masego's mom being a minister of music and also a singer-songwriter, she helped to cultivate his love of the arts. Secular music was not a mainstay in their household, but they listened to plenty of gospel from artists like Jay Moss, Yolanda Adams, Kirk Franklin, with hair, this is important, and John P. Key. His mom was also big on words of affirmation, so they listened to sermons and motivational speeches. At eight years old, he realized he wanted to make music. He aspired to be like the musicians he saw at church having so much fun. He soon got his chance to join when he realized that there was a need he could meet. He found that his mother was often stressed out by musicians at the church because they were unreliable. Showing up one day and not the other, he didn't like that so he volunteered to play the drums. It was a natural choice for him because he grew up beating on books and boxes and there was a girl at school who was a drummer that he wanted to to impress. After offering up his services to his parents, they prayed over his hands and ears and next thing you know, he was playing the drums. This would be the first of many instruments he'd learned partially out of a desire to please a girl. He would soon learn to play the keys too. He learned these instruments by ear. He would watch videos on YouTube, not tutorials, but of people playing and mimic them or try to play music he heard on the radio. Masego's upbringing in the church is vital to understanding the skills he's known for today. Being a musician for the church taught him how to follow cues, read the room, and play accordingly. This is why he's able to create these full-length songs from scratch live that are specially tailored to the crowd. His interest in sax was first piqued by the film We're Back, A Dinosaur Story, but it wasn't until middle school when he had a substitute teacher, Miss Kay, who came into class with Naji, a saxophone player, on the cover of her binder that he chose to learn it. He thought if he learned sax, she might want to marry him. His vision was a bit short-sighted given that she was one too old and two a substitute teacher. Nonetheless, he took this goal seriously. He got his mom to get him a sax claiming that he needed it for his related arts assignment at school and practice every day. He would play along to songs on the radio. He even joined the swim team so he could build his breath control for the instrument. However, by the time he got good, she was gone, but he still had the skills, so thanks, Miss K. With a new instrument in his arsenal, he would go back and forth between drums, piano, and sax while at church. Middle school. Middle school is where he learns that he likes to march to the beat of his own drum. He was first chair in middle and high school band, which is impressive for someone who can't read music, but he was bored and understimulated. He got kicked out of class daily for remixing songs. One band teacher even told him that he was a waste of talent. I was hungry for more than what was being fed to me in school. High school. Masego himself credits high school as the start of his artistry. He was in a go-go band, which was the first fusion of music that he discovered. They competed in a talent show and everyone liked it. I was telling the people that it's like, I have no idea who knows me and who doesn't. So we're just started from ground zero. I'm a nobody trying to earn my keep basically. He and his friends began having jam sessions where he would DJ new songs he discovered and play instruments. These sessions were instrumental to the development of trap house jazz, a term his friend David Canelli coined to encapsulate the contrasting elements they infused together. They described it as ignorance meets elegance because these unlikely characters were playing these beautiful chords. Trap house jazz combines the hard-hitting drums of trap with the synths of house and the sax and scat 
popular to jazz. Masego believes that living in the Hampton Roads area pushed him to develop his own unique sound because there was no official sound there. It was a blank palette for him to do whatever he pleased. High school is where he discovered his influences, Cap Calloway and Jamie Foxx. Tired of getting clowned for not knowing jazz musicians, he asked for recommendations on Facebook. One name that came up was Cap Calloway. Masego found a documentary on him and was enamored by his band leadership and high energy. His decision to grow his hair was even inspired by Cap. Masego's Heidi 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 Ho that he includes in songs and uses at shows is from Cap's song Minnie the Moocher. Heidi, 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 ho. He was introduced to Jamie Foxx by a girl at school and watched his special straight out of the foxhole. This laid the foundation for how Masego would blend comedy in his shows. High school is also where he came up with his stage name. While doing research on his maternal South African roots, he found a name chart where he saw the name Masego, a Suwana name pronounced Maseho, that meant blessing. The name resonated with him because at church he was called Blessing because of his ability to play so many instruments instruments by ear. His first time being called Masego was when his friends formally introduced him as such during lunchtime on the mic. He initially went by Masego 24, an ode to Kobe before transitioning to Masego Music, and then finally Masego. College. Masego attended Old Dominion University in Norfolk from 2011 to 2015 before dropping out. He was denied a scholarship due to his lack of music theory knowledge. He ended up majoring in communications, because he wanted an easy major that he could do while focusing on music. College was a time of discovery for him. He started diving deep into hip hop and learning about all of these artists he didn't know about due to his sheltered upbringing. He began listening to Outkast, Kanye West, and A Tribe Called Quest and became aware of all of the Virginia veterans like Pharrell, who he gets compared to a lot vocally, Timbaland, Missy Elliott, and, and The Clips. In the fall of his freshman year, he put out his first mixtape, Sides of Masego Volume 1. His artistry initially focused more on rap. In fact, the article published by Smooth Jazz Times while he was a student described him as a saxophonist, rapper, and composer. In that same article, he was likened to Will Smith because he didn't curse in his music. He didn't transition into singing until he was 20 or 21 because he grew up thinking that you couldn't sing unless you had a big voice. However, that changed when he met Jasmine, a cheerleader who introduced him to Kimbra, who's known for her live looping, which taught him that his voice could be used as an instrument. Exploring his artistry, he continued to learn new instruments. In his NPR interview, he talks about using his credit card in college to buy instruments and then trying to learn them before the end of the billing cycle so he could return them and not be charged. College also prepares Masego to be a professional artist. He goes from being a big fish in a small pond to being a small fish in a big pond. In high school, he was cocky because he was the only kid who could play sax, but when he went to ODU in Norfolk, he was surrounded by a sea of musicians who were much more refined than him. This environment taught him the value of standing out. Sax isn't his favorite instrument, it's actually piano, but it's what differentiates him from his peers. Exposure to local artists like Sonny and Babe made him realize that he had a lot of work to do, so he started doing shows all over the Hampton Roads area.
This change in mindset is apparent when you see how consistently he begins to release music. In 2013, two years into his college career, he put out Blessing and Masego Music. In 2014, he released Better With Headphones, Wild Mind, Arbitrary Sax, and Trap House Jazz. By 2015, he dropped out of school, so now he has all of this free time, and it shows because of the high volume of material release. He put out Pink Polo and Stevie, a tribute EP, and a slew of one-all popular singles such as I Hate School. Pink Polo is his breakthrough project. He did this in collaboration with Dallas producer Medicine. They created the project in less than a month, doing everything via text and email. Medicine talked about how quickly Masego worked, he would finish songs in less than 30 minutes. The title is inspired by Kanye West's line on Touch the Sky where he says, back when they thought Pink Polos would hurt the rock, Kanye was going against the grain with his staff and flow and Masego considered himself to be in a similar position with him choosing to play sax over non-jazz music. He discussed quite a few times about people being upset with him for not sticking to tradition such as his former band teachers. They wanted him to play over Coltrane, not hip-hop. Pink Polo is how I discovered him. In my sophomore year of college, this organization I was in invited him to campus for a show. Girls That Dance immediately stood out to me. I knew that that record was going to take him to another stratosphere, and my prediction was on point. It became one of the many critical steps in his gradual climb towards mainstream success. Russell Simmons heard the song and reached out to him. Young Guru, Jay-Z's longtime friend and engineer, said he loved the tape. DJ Jazzy Jeff played the record in Berlin and then invited Masego to his playlist retreat where he let Masego stay at his house and create for free. Masego still to this day is in awe of Jeff's kindness and refers to him as like an uncle or second father. Masego wants to one day be able to do the same for other artists. This is a dream that he's partially realized given that he moved all of his friends to Los Angeles with him such as his longtime trap house jazz bandmates Maxwell Hunter who plays bass and guitar and Dan Foster who plays key. Please. I think like success is really when you can bring other people along with you and they're ready to be brought along. Please like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for part two.